Hey guys, this is Nimi Sheikh and today I'm gonna start a new tutorial series on how to create a registration and login application form using Code Igniter, which is one of the most used MVC framework of PHP. Okay. A lot of people and developers are using PM Code Igniter for their development purpose just because of its documentation. Its documentation is very good and excellent. You will get each and everything from that documentation so here you can see this is the final product which we will be going to create in this tutorial series here you can see as the name suggests registration and login next what we will be creating in this video whenever i click on registration and if i add any of the email or something like admin one or password and when I click on register then it will register my email or username and password and when I click on login with the same credentials that I have registered with admin 1 and password then it will take me to the home page okay this is the functionality that exactly I am going to create in this tutorial series and whenever I click on logo it will again it will redirect us to the login page okay so in order to create this kind of functionality for for your applications for your web applications first you need to download a code igniter framework to uh, download a code igniter framework just go to google and type in code igniter okay you will get the first link as code in the framework just click on that and click on downloads once you click on download you will get a link as download code in the tool just click on it and download it i have already downloaded it and i have kept it on my desktop here you can see i have downloaded it and i have kept it here i will just copy it now just by pressing ctrl c or by right clicking and clicking on copy and let us go to our C drive, XAM, htdocs, and here we have paste it. Okay, here you can see here I have pasted it here. I just, just copy the name and come to the browser and open a new tab and then go to 127.0.0. Okay, 127.00 not one slash the folder name that you have copied in your exam folder and then just click enter and then you can see the moment when you see this kind of page after installation or after copying your code in folder in exam that means Till now we have done everything perfect okay so i'll from now i'm not going to use this folder which i have copied over here i have already created one folder as registration which is i'm which is i'll be using in this tutorial so let's minimize it and change it to registration we are at the same page because i haven't made any changes to it just I have copied that folder here, that coordinate framework folder here, and I have renamed it with the new name as registration. Okay. Till now we have done the installation. Okay. So uh, now we need to create a login form like this. So for that we need to go to our editor. I have an editor as Sublime Text. So here you can see I have opened a folder in order to open a folder in Sublime text just click on file then click on open folder go to htdocs and select the folder in my case I am using registration and then click on select folder and that folder will be open in your Sublime text then go to application and whenever you click on controller you will get a default the PHP file that's the controller file and it will have some default data inside it and 
there is an another folder called model where you will be writing down your database related stuff and this is the views and here also here you can see there is a file called welcome message this is the view file this is also one of the PHP files and this will also have some data okay whatever page that you are looking over here is because of this text inside welcome message okay. let me just tell you about this framework code igniter is an MVC framework MVC stands for model view and controller model view and controller whenever you install a fresh copy of MVC package you will get this many set of folders in your package and only three folders which you need to do, which you will be working on this tutorial is controller model and view and apart from this you will be working with these many files these are the configuration files whenever we want to make some changes with our libraries whenever we want to install a library or whenever we want to connect to our database to our url uh, settings we need to work with these many files okay so um, the concept is simple here guys mvc stands for model view and controller in controller you will be writing down your logic your core logic of your application and in model you will be writing down your database interaction interactions like fetching the data from the database updating the code for updating the data and deleting the data and updating the data all those interactions whatever you use to perform with the database all those kind of stuff will be stored inside models and models are mainly used for database interactions all those data all those codes which interact with your database will be placed inside models and views are the or views are the folders or the, this contains files which have your front end data suppose here you can see this is the front end like see this is the front end of our of newly installed application and whatever you can see here on this page are inside this view folder that means whatever front end stuff will be there for our application will be kept inside view and whatever stuff related to database interactions will be placed inside models and whatever stuff related to core logic or this is the folder controller it has the files which controls the model and views and combine it to form a single single link or a single page and it will display it to you on your home page okay so amongst three of these folders controller is the main one you can say it as a captain of the ship he will be controlling each and everything he will take the data controller so controller will take the data from the model which is been fetched from the database and then it will send that data to views and from that view we will see that information on our web page okay i hope you guys have understood what is an MVC framework and how it works what are those files are important in uh, files and folders important in MVC framework okay after all this let us start our project okay, we need to make some changes in our default page setup so for that we are what we will be doing is we will just delete this code okay let's delete it okay now let us delete this one also let's save it and let us see the page see welcome to code in our file all the rest of the work is is not showing right now okay now we need to go to our page and we will create a controller just right click on controller folder and then click on new file and then save it as 
administration just remember this guys your first letter of your file name should be capital then php click enter now i have created one file and and now let us write something and every controller you need to start your controller with this set of commands <coughs> sorry ok this is the file name and we are extending the base class for coordinator controller it contains all the methods and functions related to related to mvc framework and then a function this is the function which will be running at the beginning when any controller file gets executed now I will be loading my view this Here I will be loading this view. Welcome message. Welcome message. Now save it and now come. Okay, see. Now you cannot see the difference. Now here in controller I have used I'll be using registration controller instead of welcome. Okay. Registration, okay. Now I want to use registration controller instead of welcome. To do that, you have to go to config and then routes. Here you can see this is the controller name. This is the this is the controller name which will be running whenever you load your coding error framework so i just want to replace it with my newly created controller sorry registration this is the newly created controller here it is okay now now it should show me welcome to code igniter and then from registration okay now refresh to see now it's loading this controller but not this now I just want to delete this ok now I hope you guys know what's a controller what's a, what is a view and how to load a view with the help of a controller this is where I am loading a view see this view I am loading right now and I just want to rename this one also registration dot php now we also we need to change our file name ok let's see it won't make any changes and now i want to make this page a little bit prettier like this for this kind of look and setup this is i have got with the help of a uh, bootstrap here you can see in order to download the bootstrap you need to go to your browser go to google and type bootswatch ok once you type bootswatch here it will open a page a new page where it will show you the uh, default pages that comes available uh, default themes that comes with this boots uh, watch uh, bootswatch.com that i will show you in my next video i hope you guys have enjoyed you guys have got 
something out of this video tutorial if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will get an updates for new and latest videos okay guys thanks for watching see you in my next video